You turn a handle, press a button, lift a lever, and water comes out. Water, clean enough to drink, every day, every time. It's a minor miracle of civilized life. I'm Jacqueline Disney, a water conservation specialist for the City of Reading Public Works Department Water Utility. We work hard so you can take that water for granted. I mean, really, how many of you have ever been without water at your fingertips? We all know the Sacramento River runs through the heart of Reading with Shasta Dam right upstream. So we have a plentiful supply year round. In drought prone California, that's truly a blessing. But that water doesn't just magically flow into your tap. Let me show you its journey from here, to here, to here, and to here. About half of our tap water comes from the Sacramento River. The city has several pump houses, one of which has been pumping water into our system since 1939. This historic building may look the same as it did back then, but its pumps and other machinery are kept up to date. These pumps can take in up to 25,000 gallons per minute. That would fill a typical backyard swimming pool in 40 seconds. The raw water then travels underground through a pair of 30-inch diameter pipes to the Foothill Water Treatment Plant. The two pipes are for reliability, so we can always shut one down for maintenance. Here, the river water is filtered and then chlorine is added to make sure the water is free of bacteria, viruses, and any other pathogens. It always has to meet state and federal drinking water quality standards. These pumps then send the water uphill to two two million gallon reservoirs. From here, gravity takes over to provide the pressure needed to carry quality drinking water to homes and businesses around town. But getting all of our water from a single source, the river, isn't a good idea. We need a backup in times of drought or when the winter storms muddy up the river. That's where groundwater comes in. The water utility operates 14 wells like this one. This particular one is now pumping over 800 gallons per minute from 230 feet underground and it can keep it up day and night year round there is a lot of water underground. The beauty of well water is that it is naturally filtered through hundreds of feet of earth. In most instances, we just add chlorine to meet drinking water quality guidelines, and then we send that water to the distribution system. But our best water comes from Whiskeytown Lake. From the perspective of a water treatment specialist, Whiskeytown water is as good as it gets. This is one of the best drinking water sources in California. Sure, sometimes the fire burns a hillside and a big rain brings some mud, but that's easy to clean up. That's what we do in the water utility. We treat the water as needed to keep it consistently clean and safe to drink. In fact, we always exceed state and federal drinking water standards, and we don't use a lot of chemicals. This lake makes my job easy. Water from the Whiskeytown Reservoir is treated at the Buckeye Water Treatment Plant, a facility which came online in 1995. This is a well-designed plant where up to 14 million gallons a day flow through, simply by gravity. We don't burn a lot of energy, and we don't have to maintain any pumps. In fact, gravity transports the water from here all the way to the customer and this is how it works. We start the treatment process by mixing aluminum sulfate into the water, which makes all the fine particles of dirt clump together. These big clumps then settle out in one of four sedimentation basins. When the dirt settles, these weirs skim clean water off the top and take it to the filtration basins. The bottom of these basins is lined with an 18-inch layer of sand and two feet of anthracite coal. The water percolates through and comes out sparkling clean. Anthracite coal is basically a charcoal filter. 
The sand is no different than beach sand, but together, this filter combination makes our water exceptionally clear. This meter measures cloudiness of the water as it leaves the filter. The federal standard says drinking water should be less than 0.3 NTU. Right now, the water is coming out at 0 0.028, 10 times clearer than the federal requirements. All it needs is a shot of chlorine for disinfection, and it's ready to go. The treatment process is almost fully automated, but it is conducted under the watchful eye of experienced treatment operators, who are always on site or on call to respond to any potential water quality issues. We can run both of our treatment plants and check our wells from this one console. The display tells us everything, how much water is in our reservoirs, how clean the water is coming into our plant, and how clean it is going out. But there's nothing like having a lab technician double check everything. We follow the state testing mandates and we test all the time for clarity, bacteria, parasites, chemicals, metals. We test here at the treatment plant and we test all over the distribution network. In fact, we're monitoring 24 7, 365 days per year and testing in multiple locations every day. This is to ensure that our water is always good. Water treatment is where we focus on safety, quality, and compliance. We first make sure that our water is always safe to drink, and we treat it to the highest quality that we can. That last point, compliance, is because we routinely prove to the California Division of Drinking Water that our product and our processes meet or exceed all of their requirements, day in and day out. But our job is not done. Once the water leaves the water treatment plant, we need to deliver it to 29,000 points throughout the city, serving about 90,000 customers over 60 square miles. Distribution is where we focus on reliability. Josh Watkins, our water utility manager, can tell us about it. Distribution is a big job. Basically, every street in Redding has a water pipe under it. It adds up to 550 miles of water distribution lines. That's the driving distance from here to Los Angeles. We work on maintaining this system every day to make sure the water which reaches your tap is as clean and safe to drink as the water that leaves the treatment facility. That means fixing all leaks promptly, laying new pipe carefully, keeping a consistent water pressure, and sending out technicians to check backflow devices and help our customers with questions about their water meter or water bill. We also exercise valves. We have 14,426 of these all over town. And we flush a selection of our 4,420 hydrants to help with water quality and to make sure the fire department has water when they need it. In the wintertime, the whole distribution system may carry as little as 8 million gallons a day. But on a hot summer day, it can deliver up to 45 million gallons to our customers. That's enough water to fill up 68 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The pipes that carry all this water start out bigger than these, and they branch smaller and smaller. Individual homes are connected with these, where our lines end at the water meter. Once it goes through the meter, the water belongs to you, our customer. But our service doesn't end there. Let's say there's a spike in your water bill and you don't know why, or you notice a leak near your water meter. You can call us for advice. City of Reading Public Works, this is Pasha. And if needed, the customer service representative can send out a technician to assess your situation in person. That's a free service that we offer to all of our water customers. When our technicians hunt for leaks, they often start at the water meter. Here is something the homeowner can do themselves. Turn off all the water in the house and then look at your meter. This star is a leak indicator. If it's turning, water is flowing. If everything is really turned off in the house, you have a leak. Our technicians and meter readers are our eyes and ears. If they spot a leak or another problem on our side of the meter, we send out a repair crew right away. It takes a team to bring clean water to your tap. And that's what we are, a local, not-for-profit municipal utility. 
our team serves homes and businesses of our neighbors, and we make sure emergency services such as firefighting have all the water they need to keep us safe. We treat river, lake, and well water so it routinely exceeds state and federal drinking water quality standards. And we make sure to protect its purity as we deliver it through our service area. In Reading, we're blessed with an ample supply of high quality water. But there's never a reason to waste it. Do your part by being mindful of the water you use. It may just drop out of the sky, but water is a limited resource. And we owe it to the environment and to our neighbors to use it wisely.